Hey Capricorns, welcome, welcome, welcome to your weekly forecast for March 20th through the 26th. We got some new moon energy coming in. We're going to connect and see what messages are coming up here for the Capricorn Collective. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, we're going to check in here and we're going to see what messages are coming up for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. First card coming up here for the Capricorn Collective is the Ace of Swords. Now, the new moon is a time of manifesting when we're calling things in. So you may be manifesting solutions to problems and you may be manifesting agreements, contracts, agreements, things where there's going to be a committed path forward. Uh, so like somebody committing to something, you committing to something could even be contracts and agreements in terms of work, business, uh, creative endeavors. But the Ace of Swords is a card that comes up for me a lot of the times in my readings when there's a crown chakra clearing, when we're clearing in our crown chakra. So you may also in this time find yourself releasing limited beliefs, false thinking, low self-esteem, and you may be coming into a time where you're doing things a lot more efficiently. You're seeing solutions where once you solve problems and you're seeing quick and easy ways of dealing with things. Whereas before it felt so overwhelming. Like, how am I ever going to get to this? How am I ever going to, you know, uh, uh, ma manage to, to do all this? You're seeing quick and easy ways to do things. And that's not the same as cutting corners. Cutting corners is when we're just kind of like sweeping things under the rug. No, we're talking about real solutions, really getting things done, really getting things worked out and cleared up uh, in a quick way, in an easy way. So I feel a sense, Capricorn, that with this Ace of Swords energy, a lot of you are coming into a time where you're going to feel some burden being removed, some burden is off your back. The next card that's coming up here for the Capricorn Collective is the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is the struggle. The Five of Wands is the competition. And that volcano there is making me think of like a tower moment. And so I feel like a lot of you are in a situation where the pressure is building. The pressure is building. And um, you're wanting to disconnect from it. And your intuition is guiding you at this time. I feel there's something, Capricorn, that you have been... Uh, not wanting to walk away from because you've been telling yourself, I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. I'm not a loser. You know, I'm not going to walk away from this. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to tough it, tough it out. They're going to see, right? Maybe you're in a situation where you feel like uh, at work, they're making things difficult because they want you to quit. And then so you might think, well, no, I'm not going to give them what they want. I'm going to I'm going to double down. They're going to see they're not going to get rid of me or uh, a situation where you're in a relationship and maybe you're miserable in this relationship. But everybody told you in the beginning, oh, no, don't don't be with this person. And then so you think if you leave the relationship, everybody's going to say, oh, I told you so. I told you so. So you stay in the relationship because you want to prove everybody else wrong. This is not doing you any favors, Capricorn. And I feel like a lot of you are just getting to the point where you're like, I am tired of feeling like I have to prove a point. Or I am tired of feeling like I have to save face in the situation. I'm not going to make myself miserable. I'm going to choose the path that's comfortable for me. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not here to prove a point. I'm not here to battle something out. Because, like I said, that tower moment is kind of jumping out at me where if you keep holding on to this, there's going to be a tower moment eventually. Your angels and guides will eventually come in and say, Capricorn, it's time to be happy, my dear. Let's get rid of this. Let's remove this from your life. So I don't think you're going to wait for the tower moment. 
I think you know, you see, this is going to end up being a tower moment. And I'm kind of tired of the tower moment lessons. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove myself from this equation. I'll let everybody else, you know, fight over the breadcrumbs. I'll let everybody else feel like they got to prove something. I am going to do what makes me happy. I'm going to choose the easier path. I don't have to prove myself. I don't need the validation that bad. So this is the energy I'm feeling around the Capricorn Collective. The next card that's coming up here for you all, my darlings, is the Two of Wands. This can be choices, decisions, and partnerships. So you may be coming into partnerships. Now, Capricorn, a lot of you are walking away from some situation that's been eating up your time that's been very miserable for you maybe even like a negative environment um and so when the two of wands is coming in i feel like this is the week where you're shifting over into something new you're gonna find an offer coming in like it, maybe this is self-employment partnering up in business uh, doing business with someone maybe it's partnering up with somebody on a collaboration maybe it's a job offer maybe it's a offer to stay with somebody or or to move into a place and the two of wands comes up in my readings to say we we really need to make sure that we have all the information and that we're communicating clearly so that we can avoid a miscommunication this offer, the thing that's coming in and being offered to you is a good thing, but you might have an expectation and when you go into it and it doesn't match that expectation, you may get really frustrated and really angry and be like, oh, this was a waste of time. But had you known what it was, you could have clarified your terms to begin with. And you wouldn't have to be going through this whole boundary thing and talking about things and trying to renegotiate after you're already in the midst of it. You can get that figured out before you're in the midst of it. So you can just kind of hit the ground running and not have those bumps in the road. So it could be a job that you're being offered. Do the research. What does this job go for in your area? What are the job requirements for this title? Are they getting you to do more than one job and they're having it under a specific title? Well, you can take that in and you can negotiate the salary. Uh, yeah, this is the right salary for this job title, but I've noticed that there's a lot of extra responsibilities. So I think such and such would be a fair wage. Uh, if you're partnering up with somebody, you know, define the terms and agreements. You can't just say, oh, well, you know, uh, you're going to earn partnership based on like you're going to work it off with the hours you work. <clears throat> the hours you work are going to equate to like percentage or like a payment towards percentage. OK, how are we going to break that down? How many hours a week are we talking? What is the accruing rate? What does my hour equal? You know, that way I can keep track of how much percentage I've earned. What kinds of things are you going to have me help with? What are the duties, right? Maybe someone says, oh, Capricorn, you can come and stay with me. I've got an extra room. Just help me out around the house. That's it. I'm not worried about rent. And you just think you're going to vacuum and dust and make dinner a couple of nights a week. And then you get there and they're like, oh, uh, the roof is leaking. Can you uh, fix the roof? Oh, you know what? Um, I really need somebody that's going to be coming in and like retiling the floors. And you're like, whoa, hold on now. I didn't know you were going to have me on the roof and retiling the floor. Like you need to define what that means. How much am I going to help out around the house? How often do you think you might need me? What kinds of things are you going to have me help with? Define the terms and conditions. And you can tell the person, oh, sorry, I, you know, I, I'm not going to be retiling floors. I'm not comfortable doing that. Oh, okay. Well, what are you comfortable doing? Now you guys can talk about what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do instead of having to argue it out once you're already in the situation. So you're already leaving a stressful situation. This next thing is the answer, but you have to be clear about how it's going to work. You have to communicate clearly, communicate clearly, negotiate clearly so that you can go into it and be uh, 
comfortable with what you're walking into instead of having to figure it out along the way. And that goes directly with the Ace of Swords. Remember how we talked about finding a more efficient way? Maybe Capricorn, you feel like, oh, it's always something. There's always some hiccup. There's always some headache. There's always some bump in the road. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. You can avoid that by talking it out beforehand and avoiding those unpleasant misunderstandings or surprises. And hence, efficiency. Your next card here is the King of Cups. This could be water sign energy, a Cancerian, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you have water sign placements, you can be focusing on those houses or on those areas of your life. The King of Cups uh, is oftentimes seen as um, a generous person, someone who is emotionally available, someone who is caring, uh, someone who is uh, very helpful, can like really cut you a break. So the King of Cups for some of you might be that someone is cutting you a break. Someone is giving you a really big opportunity, a really good chance, right? So their intentions are genuine and sincere, uh, whether this is an employer, a friend, a relationship. But two of wands is where we need to get things cleared out to avoid the misunderstanding. Someone's making you an offer. They're sincere. And they see this as something that's going to be really beneficial for you. They're genuinely helping you out. They're going to get their share out of it. Make no mistake. The king of cups is generous, but he's nobody's fool. He's getting something out of it too. But you need to define those terms and conditions so that you don't have anything that is like outside of your expectation that might frustrate you. You might want to check out your other placements. Sometimes your other placements might resonate more than whatever placement this is. There's a link in the description that will take you to the playlist for the other videos. Also, love readings are linked in the description if you want to check out the love videos. And if you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's links in the description that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Take care, my dears.